Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, beautiful day today. Getting a little late in the afternoon here. I think I'm going to call it a day because the winds are starting to pick up now. I hope they don't drown me out too much because my I left my uh, windproof uh, microphone inside of the cabin, and I've already started recording. So, yeah, I got my uh, exercise area all put back together today because the, the winds had blown down almost all of my apparatus over there. So I got them all back into place and added a couple of new ones. And uh, that's all ready to go. The other thing I did today was uh, I went down the road over there and uh, repaired that 150 feet of fence that the that dirt bagger, I mean dirt biker, uh, knocked down when he was uh, thinking he was going to be a smart ass and cut across the field and come over here and uh, spook me as he zoomed past on his dirt bike. He ran into my barbed wire fence and uh, dumped his bike down there on my property and tore down 150 feet of two strands of barbed wire. About broke a six posts I think it was and uh, I got all of that back together again I got uh, new posts in there I got stronger posts in there and I put up some more no trespassing signs about uh, every 40 feet along it but I also came up my back road this way with the uh, a couple of poles I still had left and uh, one strand up a strand of bob wire and I hung some signs on that also. So I think tomorrow I might make a run into town and pick up a, another roll or two of bob wire. And uh, I'll finish all the way up that side of my property and then come around this side uh, a little way so that uh, they know that uh, I'm not looking at them cutting across my property anymore. They just idiots. I mean, no respect for anybody's property. They just come out here. There's signs everywhere that say stay on marked trails only, and they don't care. They they got the red stickers on the ground that say closed area, and they still go right down there, a closed route, and they'll, they'll go right past it. They don't care. Idiots. So when they don't care, I care. So anyway, I got that done. And uh, that wore me out this morning. I finished up about two this afternoon. And I had to go to the town today and pick up my mail because my new sand scoop came in. And this is my sand scoop. Now, looks pretty cool, huh? Except it doesn't come with this white handle. Okay. That, that uh, you have to order the handle separately. So, I had this piece of uh, um, shower curtain rod that I had found out in the desert and I brought back. And uh, there's the rubber cushion that goes up against the wall. And I said, you know, I had a spring inside of it. And uh, over here, uh, let's see, is it here? I thought it was, oh, oh you know what? I, I brought it in here because I was going to put a T-handle on this with the other part of it which is larger and slides over this but i don't think i want a t-handle and this makes it easier to, to deal with with just a straight handle so that little handle unscrews and comes off that's so if you want to just uh, use it by hand get down on your hands and knees and scoop in the sand with it and you can sift out whatever your target is but uh with this handle i set it like this step on it right there and drive it into the sand rock it back and pull it up and then i can grab it by this little handle and shake out the uh the remnants get the sand out of there and see what what the target was so i got this all set up and ready to go and what i did was i drilled a hole through this thing the same size as the holes that were already in it for the handle and then i got into my uh clevis pins container and I found that clevis pin that was just the right size to go through there and lock it in place. So I can just pull a pin, 
real quickly and take the handle out and put the uh, clevis pin back through and put the uh, cotter pin in the side and uh, that that's where that stays or I could put it in the handle and let it stay with the handle one or the other but uh, yeah a little bit of a uh, uh, American ingenuity there and now I've got myself a sand scoop because I am planning on prospecting some beaches also and like, like Lucky Jen at Lucky Jen she's uh she does a lot of beaches and stuff like that so I did uh, I got out my woolite here my upholstery cleaner and uh, yeah use about a half a can on the triple action with the scrubby on the bottom and I cleaned up that seat that I found out in the desert now there was a big oil stain right on this corner here and I got got it about halfway out and this was only one application so I'm going to go back the, through it again and give it another uh, shot on that uh, one little section right there and see if I can get that stain out of there and there's a little stain right there in the back that I, I, I need to work on. And this was laying uh, in a pile of greasy auto parts. Uh, looks like somebody was uh, working on, a mechanic was working on, a, on his vehicle at home or something and had to move and he just took all the, the junk that was in the garage and took it out there to the desert and dumped it. And this seat was with it. Now this is a passenger seat to some type of a minivan or whatever but it's just perfect for what I want for the back of my van for a third seat because uh, Andy and my neighbor John uh, may come together with, with me one time and we'll take three people down and go down to the uh, the local streams and do some sluicing and panning and when the summer gets here it gets a little bit nicer out because uh, standing in those cold streams doesn't bother my feet at all because of the uh, the boots and stuff I have for it. But when you put your hands down in the water and you get your hands wet, you get your clothes wet, it's not very nice. It's cold. So anyway, got this all cleaned up and that's ready to go. And I told you I had found that uh, blower motor for the heater blower. This was right beside the seat. And... Uh, it's a nice little 12 volt blower motor so I'll uh, come up with something to use that on just like that old curtain rod that I found ended up uh, set, setting it in my pile of uh, uh, might be able to use for something pile and sure enough came in handy it's the exactly the right length for a, a scoop handle and uh, it's exactly the right diameter everything just perfect all right, here's my uh, my bucket of uh, rock samples that I got out there in the desert uh, from the other rock that I had with the uh, gold in it. And uh, uh, no, it's not fool's gold either. It's uh, it's real gold. And uh, I uh, I picked at it with a uh, a metal pick, and it's soft and malleable. It's not flaky, and it stays gold colored. Whether it's in the light or the, in the shade, it doesn't matter. It's still a gold color. So, I got that done. And I took out my uh, uh, Nocta Macro uh, stainless steel shovel here. Put a little smiley face sticker on there that I had laying around. And uh, I was going to see if this, uh, this handle would fit that other unit. So I could just use the upper part of this handle for one or the other. But... Uh, it doesn't, wrong diameter, but uh, that's just fine. So Andy left his uh, rock samples here, and uh, I'll make sure he gets those. And I'm going to start pretty soon on this uh, uh, decking and get this decking put into place. So one of the new roosters is gone. My neighbor John took him up to up the road to see if... Uh, um, it, whether he's going to keep it or if his neighbor wants one because uh, they are good looking roosters but I don't need three roosters in here constantly fighting so by taking one of them out of there it's already quieted down quite a bit in there and uh, he may come back for the other rooster because they were just going to go into the pot anyway if, uh, if they didn't go to somebody who could use them 
because the only thing a rooster is good for is taking care of the flock and making sure that you have uh, fertile eggs so that you can uh, have more baby chicks hatch. So I only need one rooster for the, the uh, dozen hens that I have. I don't need three roosters, so I was going to um, clean those up and get them into my pot, but they're so, so such good looking little roosters. Um, he even thought, yeah, they're really good looking, so uh, he's gonna bring it up, see if his, uh, if his wife is interested in maybe uh, keeping the other one or getting the second one out of there. And then I'll have a nice quiet um, chicken coop again, because uh, during the day, uh, 10 or 15 times during the day, those uh, three roosters would get going at it and start fighting in there and I'd have to run over and yell at them and they'd break it up for a little while and then a little while later they'd get back at it again. Oh well. Alright everybody. So I'm not going to get into the uh, the grow stuff on this uh, video. Just wanted to cover that stuff and show you what I've been doing. And uh, so that uh, that other seat that's sitting on my trailer over there, that's a tractor seat that I was going to have in my back of my van. Well, that's going to end up going in the back of the ore cart. So when I go out prospecting with the my new ATV this uh, summer, I'll have uh, a seat in the ore cart so a second person can ride along with me. And the ore cart, of course, will carry all of our samples and uh, metal detectors and shovels and picks and all that kind of stuff and I'm gonna have solar built onto that thing also so that uh, I can run an electric jackhammer I'll have an inverter on there and I'll be able to run an electric jackhammer uh, when I get to some of the hard rock mine there mining areas I don't have to chip it all out by hand with a hammer I can uh, get my uh, jackhammer my mini jackhammer going that's all i have today everybody thank you for joining me don't forget the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe very important to subscribe and it's still free it's still absolutely 100 percent free and uh click on that subscribe button click on the little bell icon and get notified whenever i post a video that's all that happens doesn't cost you anything doesn't spam you, doesn't uh, drive you nuts with all kinds of uh, different things come out and coming to you or anything like that. It just lets you know that I posted a new video. And I thank you for that. This is G-Bear signing off.